th- uh, 30 says, but of him you are in Christ Jesus who has who became for us wisdom from God and righteousness and sanctification and redemption. Jesus did what was revealed in the names of God because what God calls himself is what God does. And he did it in the person of Jesus. Now many times we have heard and we have sang songs about uh, Jehovah Nissi, the, the Lord my banner. Did you know that's not really a proper translation of, of, of Adonai Nissi? It literally is the Lord my miracle. No, you still ain't got it. I'm here, and God wants to take the atmosphere of miracles and go like this over the top of me as a banner. That God says, I am going to to be a banner over you so that miracles can rain down on you. Looks like rain. God, I, I want you to, to en- en- encompass over me like a great cloud of witness. I want you to be like a great banner, like a great talit over the top of me that miracles come raining down because you are my miracle. It doesn't matter what situation that I am in. The miracle that I need from God always flows from him if I understand who he is. The woman with the issue of blood understood who Messiah was while everybody else around him was clamoring for his fame. She understood the book of Malachi said that when Hamashiach will come, that he will have healing in his wings and the, 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 the fringe of the, of the, of the, the zitzi on his talit are called the wings. And she knew that that had the name of God and the commandments of God all in it. And when she reached out and grabbed his zitzi, Adonai, Nissi became a reality in her life because she knew who he was. You see, a lot of us try to reach out and touch Jesus and nothing flows because we have never taken the time to meditate on his name and therefore that which you have meditated upon flows nothing. If you meditate nothing, you can touch God and get nothing. But if you will meditate on his name, when you reach out and touch the hem of his garment, that miracle that you need will flow if you've taken the time to meditate on his name. I don't know about you, I'm about to make myself happy. <clears throat> we also see in the word, we, we say he is, is Jehovah Rapha. Actually, in Hebrew, it's, it's a little bit different than that. It is Adonai Raphecha. How many know Rapha is a whole lot easier than Raphecha? <laughs> but I, I love, because he, he, in, in, in Exodus 17, 26, God introduced himself as that. But it is personal in the first person. Sometimes it is mistakenly translated the Lord our healer. That is not what it says in the Hebrew. It says, I am the Lord your healer. You see, it doesn't matter if 10 people around you don't get healed. When you learn to meditate on the name of God and you reach out and you can access, you can get into his presence, he will become your healer. It's not your responsibility on why or why not that person around you got healed. Maybe they didn't meditate. Maybe they were not convinced in their soul of who he was. But it, it, it is it's personal. It's just like I have my own personal physician. He may not be your physician, but I, when I go to him, he is my personal physician. He can say, Mike, what's going on with you? And then he can give me a prescription for what I need to make everything okay because he's my physician. Almighty God is my great physician. And if I realize that and I present myself to him, He can give me prescriptions not only of divine healing, but all of a sudden I see in his word how to eat. I see in his word how to live to have a healthy life. I see in his word how to live and not let stress tear apart my body because I am hoping in almighty God. And he continually allows his divine life to flow through me. He is also Adonai Shalom, the Lord of peace. 
That peace in the Hebrew shalom doesn't mean just the absence of conflict. It means salvation. It means deliverance. It means prosperity. It means everything tied up in in salvation. And the kingdom of God is summed up in shalom. And so God says, my name is everything of the kingdom manifested in your life. If that isn't enough, God says, I am Adonai Ru'i. I am the Lord, your shepherd. David looked at who God was and said, if God is my shepherd, how could I ever want? How could I ever want? If he sees, he provides. If I make sure he sees, I'm taken care of. It's when the devil tricks me in trying to do stuff that's not in his sight. When you try to hide stuff from God, what you end up doing is hiding yourself from him, and, it's, and it restricts God from moving. I, the devil is a sneaky snake. He, he, he has strategic plans for when he gets you to sin, and it's not just to get you in sin. It's to block the vision of God from you so that he can cut off heaven from you. It's a sneaky snake if I ever saw one. Now, why have we gotten into all this? God is called, the rabbis say that God is called according to his actions because his actions display his nature. Now, we call something his nature because it flows from who he really is. Have you ever seen someone that, that was really good in baseball or really good in that and say, well, that just came naturally to him? There, it was effortless, you know. You know, him, he may struggle to play checkers, but he can play football, <laughs> you know. He can move around people a whole lot easier than he can move around them checkers because it, it came naturally to him. It just automatically flowed. You just handed him a ball, and he was an instant natural quarterback. That once he had the ball, he was gone. That's the way God is. What we call supernatural, Almighty God calls natural. And then we're trying to say, God doesn't move today. That's because you placed him in a straight jacket and you won't let him be himself. God in his most natural state, he sees, he provides. There's sickness, he heals it. If there's a need, he meets it. If there's deliverance, he gives it. The very atmosphere of heaven, guys, is breathed out of the being of God. How many know in heaven there's no needs? In heaven there's no sickness and disease. In heaven there's no adversary. I mean, the first thing God did is kick him out. There's no sickness and disease. When we get there, there'll be no death. Because we are living in the atmosphere of the very breath of God. And why we struggle so is we don't understand that the manifested presence of God, his nature flowing, is the nature of the kingdom. That The nature of the kingdom is healing and deliverance and restoration and shepherding and all the wonderful things that we talked about. And there's literally hundreds more in the word that we have not even touched on tonight that are the very atmosphere of heaven. And when I magnify God, it allows me to take a breath of heaven. The Holy Spirit is the breath of God. The, whole, the breath of God hovered over the planet. And when God said, let there be light, it flipped from chaos to perfection in a millisecond. God wants to breathe his spirit into us. He wants, he wants us to get to the place to where when I'm magnifying him and I'm worshiping him and I'm going to him in prayer, while I'm in that prayer closet, I am breathing in all the resources of